What can you tell us about the earliest Métis families of Sault Ste. Marie? The earliest Métis families um, started to emerge here um, around the same time as, as other Métis communities were forming around the Great Lakes, uh, which is sort of be the mid to late 1700s. Um, and so the, the Northwest Company, right? So the Northwest Company had a, had a, a post on what is now um, basically where the, the mill market is now, right? In the old uh, St. Mary's paper site. Um, and that was the Northwest Company post. And um, Sault Ste. Marie was sort of a, um, almost like a retirement community uh, for old voyageurs, right? And so voyageurs, they, uh, they retired young. Uh, they, they started young, they started working in the, in the fur trade when they were about maybe 16. Um, and then after 10, 15 years of carrying these incredibly heavy packs of furs and canoeing from Montreal to Alberta, right? Um, they were ready for retirement around like 40, right? So, but you, they still had a lot of life left, right? They just couldn't be voyageuring anymore, right? Uh, so they, um, they started to form communities, right, of these retired voyageurs, and then they started to, um, to marry with some of the First Nations women in the community, right? Um, and then from there, um, they formed together and, and, and over time, right, it, uh, through a process we call ethnogenesis, right, and formed a new people, formed a new community. Um, and some of, so some of those old families were, were uh, like some of those names are still around, the Kadot family and the Busno family and others, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's a little bit about the, the very early, uh, foundations of that.